State business and environmental leaders are calling on the legislature to meet in a special session to make a commitment to renewable energy. The group wants 20 percent of the energy used in Florida to come from renewable resources by 2020. But as Capitol correspondent Whitney Ray tells us, there is little appetite to set that goal this summer. Go to Tuesday, the city of Tallahassee rolled out 12 new buses that are more energy efficient than the current fleet. These clean diesel buses uh, represent a combination of low sulfur fuel and advanced diesel engines and an advanced exhaust system. Tallahassee is just one of a dozen Florida cities trying to cut energy costs while state efforts continue to stall. Last week, 120 business, environmental, and state leaders pledged to stop using oil. The Clean Energy Congress then called for a special session to create more tax incentives for solar power, electric cars, and other alternative forms of energy. Only 4% of the energy used in Florida comes from renewable resources. Susan Glickman, a co-sponsor of the Clean Energy Congress, wants the percentage of renewables used in Florida increase to 20% over the next decade. But the key element is, is putting that, that certainty. You need some sort of target. But so far, the call for a special session on renewables, along with half a dozen other summer session requests, have gone unfulfilled. Yeah, I'm all for doing that in the next session of the legislature. I think that's important to Florida's growth. I think solar is important for Florida's growth. I think you can see what you can do with innovation right here. But I don't think you need a special session to do that. And while the state waits for a more progressive energy plan, an estimated 60,000 barrels of oil a day continues to gush into the Gulf of Mexico. In Tallahassee, Whitney Ray, WPTV News Channel 5.